Hey there YouTube, how's it going? So today we're going to talk about the remote desk app through the Autel system. Today we're working with that Autel MP808. I'm going to show you how to remotely log in to your Autel scanner and be able to control it from a Mac running Mac OS Monitray. Um, I'm going to show you how to interact with it, how to message between the computer and the scanner if you have two people working, show you um, how you can monitor stuff remotely, which will come in handy for either the shop level or the DIYer. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to tap on the remote desk app. And then essentially from here, you're going to get a link. Oh, um, you're going to want to go to this link. And then we're going to type in this website. So now we're going to switch over to the iMac and I'm going to screen record everything on how to get it set up and go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to show you that we are on macOS Monitray 12.3.1. So with that being said, um, before we tapped on the remote desk app, so I told you that we need to go to the website. So you choose your website, whether it's Safari, Firefox, uh, Chrome, Internet Explorer, whatever it is. So you're going to go to the, the start.teamviewer.com website. And then you're going to go ahead and type that ID code in. So mine is already um, in here. This code is uh, this code is actually unique to each device. Um, so I'm going to blur this out because this is my code and I don't want people logging on my stuff. So we're going to connect to the partner and while it loads it gives you two options. Launch the installed team viewer or download single use. I've already downloaded it so we're going to go ahead and launch it. Um, pretty much it's self-explanatory. It runs through it step by step on what to do. Now on the Android tablet or the Autel scanner it says allow remote support. Would you like to allow to uh, the iMac.local to remote support your Android device? And I clicked allow. So now everything's loading. Now this is all going through the Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi on the Autel and the Wi-Fi on the um, iMac in this scenario needs to be the same or the Macintosh in this scenario needs to be the same. So another step, so this is the the um, application itself to control it. The next step I like to do is separate them because I feel like it works just a little bit better when you separate the two between the app and the Autel screen itself. Okay. So now, now we are physically in the Autel and we are controlling it via our mouse. Um, so now you can go in. So now you can take this scanner anywhere um, as long as it can reach the Wi-Fi and connect to it. So here we're going to connect to the scanner if you want to go in and do some work it's it's double clicking that's why it keeps on going all over sometimes it can be a little bit tweaky but I mean essentially it does work so you can go in and do what you need to do remotely so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you all that because you everyone at this point already knows how to do that and if you don't you can check out either one of my other videos or somebody else's videos out there on how to operate the scanner this is just this video is just showing you how to connect remotely the the other nice feature is um, when you have for example two people working like one person inside or one person in the office and the other person at the vehicle you can talk back and forth to one another so for example this right here is the scanner and this right here is a program so if the person at the scanner was like, what vehicle are we working on again? It will pull up here. And they would be like, 
2000 Ford Focus. And it would come here. So you, you get the idea. It's essentially a messaging, which I kind of think is a nice touch. But, I mean, with with technology nowadays, there's plenty of other, other um, uh, ventures and opportunities that you can use. But, nevertheless, I, I kind of like it. Now, here are some of the options. Um, you can change the quality, the scaling, audio and video. Um, you can record the screen, but there's other ways of recording the screen. Like, for example, what I'm doing now is QuickTime, or um, you can use the, uh, this, the, the recording inside here. The next one is Screenshot. Once again, there are different opportunities to screenshot. Like in this example, us using a Mac, you can use Command Shift 4, which will, you could draw your um, screenshot or Command Shift 5, which will just do the whole screen or a certain app window. Um, so then next is your apps. Um, these are the different apps that are actually loaded onto the scanner. It's kind of like add and remove on Windows. Um, I'm not going to install uninstall anything, but if you did want to uninstall anything, this is where you would do it. Processes are processes and programs that are running internally or that are running on either A, the background, or B, currently. So it's this, essentially the same thing as um, the task manager in Mac or PC. Um, and you can force to quit stuff just like um, just like you would in a computer. And then the settings is just different Wi-Fi's and you can add more of them if you want to. The network ID, the security, the password if you know it. So it has it. Uh, the dashboard, it just shows you the um, info of the scanner itself. The, uh, the CPU, so this is a 1.42 uh, gigahertz. It's using 28% of the CPU currently. It's about a gig of RAM, 65% is being used, 99% charged, the battery is at 37 degrees Celsius, uh, storage, you know, the model, the make, the IP address, the MAC address. Um, it all shows here. Um, so yeah, so that is the overview, the quick and rough overview of how to uh, remote desktop connect to your um, Autel system. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video or you found it useful, please go ahead and hit the like button. It helps me out in the YouTube algorithm a lot. If you want to see more content like this, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I also plan on doing some automotive stuff and some home stuff and just anything that, you know, inspires me and that I feel like other people may be interested in watching. So with all that being said, thanks for watching and take care.